Okay guys, here am I again with another video. Now, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a timing light. Now a timing light is used for, it's an old school thing really, it's not, modern day cars you tend to use, you hook up a computer like a, an OBD scanner and that scans the uh, computer because it's all electronically controlled. Years ago you had an ignition system so that was just timed off the crankshaft. Um, so what you had to do was to set your points using a timing light. Now, I needed a timing light because my next video I'm doing on the 125 uh, improvement is to do with charging, battery, ignition and so forth and I need a timing light for that. Went on Amazon and quite frankly the timing lights are sort of frighteningly expensive. <laughs> We're talking sort of um, for a decent one, £50 plus. It's, it's not it's not sort of um, good so what I'm um, going to show you here is <clears throat> something uh, a circuit that I found on the internet um, I'll give you a reference to the um, uh, website it's uh, dragonfly75.com he's got a little schematic uh, I don't think I'll be able to put a picture on it so, but basically what you do is you get yourself a sort of a 12 volt supply which we have here and I've soldered these little connectors on so I can use it on this this sort of breadboard I'm <coughs> sorry a bit of, bit of old crumbs there um, and then I cannibalized uh, four LED lights um, here let's go for the positive now there's a certain way you put them in it's a cathode and an anode um, it'll, it'll uh, show on the diagram goes through then you get a, a 10 ohm resistor then it goes through this thing here which is a MOSFET um, and there's a bait I think there's a, like a, a base collector and emitter and that goes into the um, collect, uh, collector then the emitter which goes to a negative which has about a, a hundred thousand kilo ohm resistor a couple of diodes there one's a um, a Zener diode, which is a 5.1 volt diode, a 1.8 kilo ohm resistor, uh, another diode. So this is all one separate circuit, and the uh, base is uh, obviously connected to the negative by this uh, yellow wire. And then, basically, you'd have a long wire going up to your um, ignition coil with the HT lead. And then this piece of wire, which is wrapped around the um, HT lead about 13 times, uh, connected in series with this uh, capacitor, which is a 0 0.01 microfarad, connected through another diode, which is the wire that goes back to the unit. And that's basically it. And it surprisingly actually works. I'm very surprised about this, what this guy has done. Um, it's his his design, so I'm giving credit to him. I'm not going to show the uh, diagram on on, the, on on my video channel because, obviously, for copyright purposes, because it's his design. But I'm going to use this and make my own timing light. So it's a tool that I can use for my motorbike, uh, any old car, old lawnmower, strimmer, whatever we have. Um, to, to sort of uh, do the ignition time. So it's basically like. This is a transistor, this little thing here, and it's like a little switch. Very clever, and it's basically using resistors and diodes to, and sort of a little sort of pickup wire. So really clever. So next I'll show you it working. Okay guys, so I've hooked it up to the car. The reason I've hooked it up to my, um, my car's a Rover 25, and the reason of, it's got a K-series engine, the reason of done this is because it's got two coil packs and then it has um, corresponding HT leads to the other spark plugs so that's why I've hooked it up just to demonstrate it hooked it up to the battery now I'm going to start the engine to uh, let's, put the let's put you guys down there demonstrate it working 
Hang on a sec. Okay, then if you can see it, there we have it, flashing away. And if we uh, rev the uh, accelerator a bit, it changes, so it works. Okay, so I'm going to put all this in a casing and uh, combine it into a nice little unit, and that's what I'll be doing next. Okay, folks, so put the electronics from the breadboard onto some of this stuff which is a sort of a make-do circuit board. Uh, it's got a copper lines going that way, solder the components in from the other side, stick them through, solder them on the other side, and you make the circuit. Okay, so I'll use that breadboard and other electronics projects. I'm not, I'm not an electronics whiz, but I like to have a play. Okay, so I use this bicycle torch light because the lens cap can hold all the LEDs. Little circuit board in there. Let's move so that you can see. I drilled out the microchip that makes the thing flash. Removed what well, there's five LEDs, so I removed one and then soldered the positive which is the red and the sort of the blue which comes from the the LEDs into the circuit board. Now on the circuit board you've got this 10 ohm resistor so the blue goes for the 10 ohm resistor through the um, collector of the transistor, the emitter goes through this bad boy here, which is a 1000 ohm resistor, 100,000 ohm resistor, sorry. And then under here, you got this 1.8k resistor, which comes from the collector, goes to this line here, which goes through the two diodes, the Zener diode and the regular diode. I forgot what the number is. And then they go to the, to the negative. Then the base of the transistor goes to the negative. Now on this line here is this purple line here, which then goes off to the pickup, and I'll show you how to build the pickup next. Okay guys, now the pickup side works. You've got the, the pickup wire coming down here. Um, I had that little knock because so I was going to put it in a little casing, but it goes through this little diode, which the diode is pointing that way. And then you have the pickup wire here, <coughs> which um, coils around the uh, HT lead. I've got this, which I cannibalized from the um, the headset that didn't work for put it to good use so that I can actually wrap it around and join it together. Um, each set, it's like a continuous loop with a capacitor. Joined onto one side of that loop is the diode, which then goes back down to the pickup. And I'm going to wrap this lot up in duct tape, so yeah, this circuit up in duct tape, so it's all secure. Okay. Okay, guys. So here we are. It's all hooked up. Move across. It's all hooked up to the battery. Hooked up to the coil. And there's the timing light flashing away. Okay. If I uh, place it there, rip the engine a bit. See it changing. Okay, now I can't show you any timing marks because this car's got like a modern fuel injection, so there's the, uh, there's no real timing marks to demonstrate this on. It's not very bright, but you know it will do the job if you're in a sort of a dark area. I tried it on the motorbike, but um, when I try to undo the cap for the timing marks so the oil spewed out so that's something I'm gonna to have to look at so I'll leave it here and say thanks guys <laughs>